20 million tourists a year visit the district, yet for many, it's a tourist unfriendly city. Just ask a tour bus guide. The biggest problem is finding a place for the buses to park while the while the tourists are in buildings and touring because now they have to drive around and around and around and that's not a good plan. The city wants to change this. It wants the district to live up to its world capital status in line with Paris, London and Tokyo and to do so it needs a world-class transportation system. It's an international capital of the world. It's our nation's capital of the world. When you visit other world capitals such as Paris or London or even Beijing, China, you find that the planning is done with that in mind. So that means giving quick information to visitors to make traveling through the city easier, through kiosks and signs, fixing parking. The city wants to build strategically placed parking garages so people can park just once in the city. These garages will be placed so people can quickly get on metro, trolleys, or bike paths, and alleviating congestion. The city wants to run a trolley down Georgia Avenue to the southwest waterfront, have Metro connect Georgetown and Fort Lincoln, and have water taxis connect Anacostia to Georgetown and the city to National Airport. As for how to pay for all this, well, that hasn't been worked out exactly. The city is hoping that the federal government will help foot some of the bill, but it's also looking toward the private sector, a private business perhaps running the water taxis or even a light rail system. The plan has its critics. There's nothing in the plan that says anything about the relationship between transportation and the equality in the region. District officials say they'll see this plan through. In Northwest, Teresa Dickey, News Channel 8.